Hello everybody, it's Anne from Anne Stampin' Up. Welcome to another card making day. Uh, it's a beautiful day here in Simcoe, Ontario, where I am an independent Stampin' Up demonstrator. Um, if you live in Canada and you don't have your own demonstrator, you can uh, shop with me. You can reach me at stampsandtea at gmail.com or my demonstrator website is uh, stampsandtea.stampinup.net. So welcome everybody. So for today's card, we're going to make um, a pretty much a general card. I'm going to leave the inside blank so that you can put whatever you wish. You could put happy birthday or thank you or whatever. We're going to use um, the Flowers of Friendship stamp set. Uh, it's on page, oh, let me think, 73, I think, in the annual catalogue. Um, and it coordinates with the Flowers and Leaves punch so you've got flowers and leaves on the same punch so it can coordinates with that and works very well so that's the stamps that we're going to use we're also going to use um, the stitched rectangle dies which are fairly old dies but we're going to use them and um, what else are we going to do we're going to do some um, card coloring we're going to color onto the card with the um, the blending brushes here which are available in the catalogue too. We also have a nice set of small blending brushes now so that they're not so big you know they're easier to for smaller spaces. What else do we have? We've got some elegant faceted gems and little odds and ends that we're going to do. We're going to do some heat embossing so it's a fairly detailed card today so let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to bring in my um, mini cut and emboss machine and I've got a piece of cardstock, just a scrap, it's about, I don't know, four by three and I'm going to look at my dies and I'm going to pick uh, one, two, three, four, five, the sixth die, I think it is, because that is going to fit over the sentiment that I want to use. Okay, it's going to fit over there for the front of my card. So that's the die, it's die number six. And I'm just going to quickly cut that out. Now normally I know I would stamp first and then cut it out, but um, it really doesn't matter where, this, uh, where my stamping is going to sit on this. So let me just get my plates in there and remember to stagger the plates. Move it over a little bit. Run it through. Whoops. Run it through. And that should give me a nice little piece of card with um, what we call a stitched border. So let's have a look. There. That's exactly what I've got. A nice little piece of card with a stitched border. Lovely. So now the dies can go out of the way. What we're going to do next, we're going to um, we're going to do some stamping, but we're also going to do some heat embossing. So I'm going to bring in my heat embossing paper first, and it doesn't matter. I can stamp on that; it's not going to hurt. So I've got this piece of paper so that I can once I've once I've poured my embossing paste onto here, my embossing powder onto here, I can just tip it back into the jar. We've got some plain white embossing powder. We need some pieces of cardstock, scraps of cardstock. Okay, we've got Flirty Flamingo, um, So Saffron and Coastal Cabana. And I'm going to use the big flower stamp from the set, this one, and I'm going to use the smaller flower from the set. I'm going to stamp two of each just so that I have enough in case I in case I make a mess. And of course I've got my Versamark here. I've got my um, embossing buddy, which you just rub gently over your cardstock and um, it just takes any static out of your cardstock. Now can I get that on there? Yes I can. So I'm going to stamp two of each and then I'm going to um, heat emboss these with plain white embossing powder. Let's go there, there, and 
there. And then we'll do the same with the smaller ones. Now the, the embossing is kind of hard to see on the um, So Saffron, but you'll see it when I sprinkle it with white and then clip it to my board and heat emboss it. Okay, so here we go with the heat with the powder. That's nice. doesn't matter if we've got a little bit um, extra around the sides because we're going to punch these flowers out but I want to make sure the whole flower is covered. Looks like I could use a little more on this end. There. And on the coastal cabana. A little bit there, a little bit around there. Now a paintbrush works well for this, for brushing off the extra, if you've got a little bit of um, extra on your card, but I can't seem to see the paintbrush this morning, so we'll just make do. And then that all pours right back into here. and get it out of the way and the lid's on so we don't heat the whole jar now I've got this handy little thing that I picked up in the dollar store it's it's really a, a right and what is it called right and erase board or something it's called um, but you can clip like for when you have small pieces of um, small pieces of card like this you can use a clothes pin and clip them onto your board there and then I'll just use my heat gun to heat them up and make sure I haven't got the clip on top of that flower there okay so here we go you'll have to excuse the noise for just a minute till we get these flowers going So that's it for the heat embossing and you see we've got some lovely flowers on there. We'll just pull them off this card, off this little board. Such a handy little thing. Alright, so what's next then? So we've, we've stamped the flowers, we've got flowers, we could punch the flowers out. This is the punch and it has a big flower, a small flower. So let's have a look. We might have to be a little bit careful here. Um, if I put that in there like that. Oh, my. So that's my big flower. That's my smaller flower. Here's my smaller flower. There. That one was a little bit wonky, but it's okay, we can deal with it. And it's just a case of getting your flower lined up, you know. And there, all these little chibbles. And then we've got the coastal cabana. The big flower is kind of easy to punch out. I don't know why the little one... I, I mean, it does line up just as nicely, but I just seem to have more trouble lining the small one up. There we go. All right, so we've got lots of flowers we can use. Let me just keep the flowers and get rid of the garbage. Now we're going to um, colour the cardstock for the background. 
Okay, that's where the blending brushes are going to come in. Um, and let me have a look, which is my, my inside? Okay, so my basic card is a Coastal Cabana and it's eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, standard card size. I've got a piece of basic white for the inside, five and a quarter by four. And I've got a piece for the front of the card, which is five by three and three quarters. So that will give me a quarter inch border all the way around my card. All right, on the front. So let's sort of get started here. We've got some Coastal Cabana ink. And we're just going to lightly, we'll take a brush, it doesn't matter which brush we use, we're going to wash them. We're going to just lightly colour the top of this card, all right? So I'm picking up, I hope I'm picking up some colour here. And I'm coming off the end of my card and just doing this very lightly. Oops, where's my there? I don't want it too dark. And I'm going about a third of the card in this colour all. Let me shut this for just a minute. We've then got some uh, So Saffron. I'm going to use a clean, um, just a second, clean sponge for that. And again, just a little bit in about a third of the card. Turn those over and one more with some Flirty Flamingo. looks quite wet so I'm going to scrub it off on my paper first so that it's not too dark. There. So what I've got is a piece of card. We started off basic white. We've got some Coastal Cabana at the top. Can you see it? We've got a strip of yellow in the middle, the So Saffron, and then we've got the Flirty Flamingo at the end. So now I'm going to take this stamp from the stamp set and I'm just going to stamp it and stamp it off and then just stamp it a couple of times on my card. Just a, a little bit of um, pattern on the card, tone on tone pattern on the card. And I've got some flirty flip. Mingo, and I've got some Coastal Cabana and I'm stamping it off on my card. I don't think this stamp pad is terribly wet so I think I'm okay just to stamp. I don't need to stamp it off. There, just a little bit of pattern there and then I have the same with So Saffron and also for So Saffron, I need to stamp my sentiment on this piece. So I'll put it ready. There. Just a little bit of pattern to break up the background. So Saffron and my sentiment says, life is better with friends like you. nicely inked and it's going to sit about the middle of the card, about this the middle of this, this piece. Maybe slightly higher than the middle. And I've messed it up so we'll turn it over and we'll do it again. I just was a little heavy when I stamped my stamp into the ink pad because I got some ink around the outside of the pad. That might be better. Can you see? Yes, there, that's better. So then all we have to do is put this card together. Let's have a look 
some stamp and seal. Don't need stamp and seal plus there. Stamp and seal. Oh, they're all plus. Okay. So this piece is going on the front of the card. That's the the, the piece that we coloured with the blending brushes and uh, the stamps. And we'll have about a quarter of an inch all the way around. Put that to one side, doesn't want to work. I feel like I'm all off the board today. Let me get that out of my way. Right, maybe now we can see. Okay. So let's try this again. And I have to see I still don't have this new camera in the right spot. And it does bother me. But I kind of have to live with it right now because I just don't have time right now to mess with my camera. I'm frightened, to be honest, I'm frightened to take it apart in case I can't get it all placed back together again, you know, so that it works for me this on the inside about an eighth of an inch all the way around on this piece there there here's the part for the front now we're going to put this down flat and it's going to go right about the middle of the card There, and we've got some dimensionals here. I'm just going to pop some dimensionals on the back. Let's have a look. How about what do we want to do? Let's put of that. Let's put that about there. And we'll have a small yellow one. overlap that a little bit. There and we've got a floaty flamingo for the bottom. There, there's a lovely little card and we've got, just to finish it off, these are called Elegant Faceted Gems. Um, I don't know, I think maybe the bigger size. Whoops. Let's have a look. Oh, I think the big, oh yeah, that looks nice in the center. Whoa, alive. Two. Three, so there it is. That's a lovely quick little card right there. This was not my own creation. This was cased straight from the catalogue and case just means copy and share everything. So thanks for watching everybody. I will see you all next week. Thank you. Bye.